In today's video, I'll show you how to start your very own affiliate marketing website. So this will be a complete tutorial from start to finish on how to create your website, how to set up your affiliate programs, what affiliate programs to pick and how to find your niche and also cover some additional things such as keyword research and also the design aspects and other things that are really important to know before you start your affiliate marketing website. On top of this, the initial cost for starting your affiliate marketing website will be relatively low. So if you have a low budget, you could get away with starting your affiliate marketing website for as little as $20. Now, with that being said, I'm not selling any courses here. I'm just doing this for free. So I would appreciate if you could leave a like down below. And if you're interested in this type of content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. Now, with that being said, let's just jump into today's tutorial and hopefully you guys do enjoy. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that we create the website that we want to use for our affiliate business. Now, there are multiple different options here. You can either go for Wix, WordPress, you have Weebly, Squarespace. There are a bunch of different options. But if you are a beginner, the one I would recommend you to use is going to be Wix. So on Wix, we can just go on Wix right here. I'll make sure to leave a link down in the video description, which is going to be an affiliate link. So I do get some commission when you sign up through my link. Uh, I'm doing this for free, so I do appreciate it if you do it. But otherwise, you can just create it directly on the Wix website. Once we are on Wix, we can just go ahead and click on get started. And I'll also mention here that Wix is going to be the best option if you're a beginner. WordPress will be a bit more technical and will take you a bit longer to learn on how to figure out on how to create your website, which is why we're going with Wix in this video. But if you want to go with WordPress, just go ahead and go with WordPress as well. So what you want to do here is just make sure you sign up and create an account. What I will do is just log into my current account. But if you don't have an account already, just make sure you go ahead and click on sign up now. Once you have signed up, you will see something similar to this. So which platform do you want to use? You can either use the AdRx, which is the newest way of using Wix. Uh, but you also have the standard Wix websites, which I would recommend you to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Wix. This step right here, we can just go ahead and skip. So you have the skip button right here, but you can also fill it out if you want to but i'm just going to go ahead and press on skip now now we have to pick what features we want to use for our website a chat is obviously not going to be that important if we're just doing an affiliate website but if you want to have a chat feature then go ahead and select it uh, right here i'm just going to go through what we would like to have i don't think we want any of these online store no bookings no events no now something that we do want to use is actually going to be a blog a blog is going to be a great feature to use if you want to create content on your website that is talking about various products and which products you are recommending to your end user and that way you can include your affiliate links throughout your blog uh, so when users click on those specific links, you will get your affiliate commission once they eventually buy that specific product. So what I'll do is just click on blog because that's the one we want. And then for the rest of them, I think we'll just go ahead and skip. Once that is done, we can just go ahead and click on next. Now we have the option to create our website through the Wix ADI or the website editor directly. Uh, what we'll do is just click on edit with a template here as well. Cool, once we're on this step here, uh, we have a bunch of different templates that we can actually choose from. The ideal solution is that you pick something that is relevant to your business, but keep in mind that all of the different templates and themes right here can be customized in order to look the way you want it to. So even though this one has like a climbing image right here, if you just change the image, it will change the whole feel of the website itself. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now I want to create something that is about sports. So let's see if we can find something that is related to sports right here. And we do have a couple of different options. So we have Trevor Carter, which I think will be kind of like more of a uh, personal trainer type of thing. Uh, but I do like the theme that we have here in the corner. So let's just click on view so we can get a preview on how this website actually looks like. Uh, so as you can see, we have some titles here at the top and some more texts, meet the team. Obviously, if I want to change something, maybe remove the section meet the team. Obviously, I can do so as well. Our clients, perhaps I can add, make this into the top products that we recommend and so forth. So there's, I think this theme actually fits exactly what I wanted to. So if you're happy with the one that you picked, you can just go ahead and click on edit the site. And then we're gonna jump straight into the VIX editor. 
So I'm just gonna close down the tabs that I have here in the corner so we can just focus on the editor itself. Now we're inside the VIX editor. So this is gonna be where you can customize your website in multiple different ways. Uh, it's gonna be super simple, which is why VIX is one of the easier options to go for if you're not super technical. On here, you can see that we have the title here, for example. If I click on the title, I can just edit the text and change this into whatever I want it to. Now I can do the same with everything else. I can change the background here at the top. So change strip background. I kind of want to create something that is about running. So let's see if we can actually find some free images from Wix and that is about running. Perfect, we have a couple of different images here that we can use. So let's see if, let's say this one could fit. So I'll just click on it, change background and that will update right away. Now it doesn't really look that good. So what I can do is actually click on the settings again and then we can change the image opacity and uh, just, just to make sure that the text can still be read. And I think if we keep this one at 40% opacity, I think that would be perfectly fine. And then I might want to change the alignment on the image itself as well. So with the, the main focal point, which is this guy right here, actually is visible in the banner. And I think this actually looks perfect. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Then for the rest of the content here on the pages, obviously just make sure that you change everything so it's related to whatever product you're trying to market. Now there's a bunch of different products that you can market. In an ideal world, uh, you would do affiliate marketing for products do you actually enjoy the products that you actually use? So in this example, I'm talking about Wix. I use Wix a lot and I talk about Wix a lot on my YouTube channel as well, which is one of the reasons why I do affiliate marketing for Wix. So make sure that you find a niche that you enjoy and a niche that you at least know something about so you can add your point of view. And on top of this also, so people can trust you as the source for the information that they're looking for. So if you are doing a blog about running and you're recommending different running shoes, you obviously wanna make sure that people trust the information that you give them so they eventually click on your links purchase the products free your links so you get your affiliate commission, which is what I want to create here for this specific website. Now, the most important part here is not gonna be about the homepage itself. It's actually gonna be about the blog section of the website. So we wanna make sure that we actually have a blog section. So up here in the corner, we can see all the pages that we currently have on the website. We can see that we have a couple of pages that are not really related to our business. So we can actually go ahead and remove those as well. So clicking on menus and pages here, you can see that we have the homepage, the about us, the services and the contact pages. So we have a couple of different pages here on the website, but we don't have a blog yet. So what we wanna make sure is that we add a blog. Uh, so in order to add a blog, what we can do is actually go to add apps here in the corner. Once we are under add apps, we can add some additional features to our Wix website. So I'm just gonna search for blog and then we'll have the Wix blog here and it actually is installed already, so that's perfect. So we can actually just go ahead and click on open up and that will open up our Wix blog. Now do remember, I know I'm talking a lot about different features within Wix that you can use. If you want more detailed tutorials on Wix specifically, just make sure you head over to my YouTube channel because there's a bunch of different tutorials on various things. So if you want to learn more about something specific such as design, just make sure you head over to my channel and watch those for more details. Because if I add everything into this video, it will be 10 hours long and it might not be related to everyone because someone might already know about the design aspects and just want to know more about the affiliate part of the website itself. Now, that being said, this is gonna be our blog that we currently have. So we have three different blog posts on the website and these are just gonna be blog posts that are imported and it's not gonna contain anything at the moment. But this is gonna be where you create most of your content. So if you're writing about skin skincare product, for example, you might create a blog which is titled uh, the top 10 uh, skincare products for 2022. And then in the blog post itself, you're just ranking these different products. And then in an ideal world, you will focus on SEO, which is gonna be search engine optimization. 
And if you do it well, uh, your website or that specific blog post can rank for keywords within Google, which is related to that specific topic. So ideally, if you create that specific blog post talking about the top 10 um, skincare products for 2022, your blog post might rank in Google for the top 10 uh, skincare products for 2022. So when, when people Google that, your blog post will show up, people will read your blog post, and then they might be, okay, I wanna buy this specific product. So when they click on your affiliate link, that is when you'll get your commission once they place that specific purchase. So that's what we want to create here with our specific blog. So if you're going to manage a blog post or manage post right here, uh, this is gonna be where you're gonna spend most of your time focusing on creating content that is useful for users. So it's fulfilling a purpose, such as this video. I'm showing you how to create an affiliate marketing website. And hopefully, if you enjoy my content, you will click on the link in my video description and I will get some affiliate commission for doing so. So you don't wanna go in and create a bunch of different posts which doesn't really have any valuable information. If, it, if it's just very general and not very specific, people are not gonna read your articles because people want that specific information which actually answers the questions that they have. If you want to pick, or if you're going to buy a, make a big purchase, let's say a TV, you wanna make sure that you can actually compare TVs in a similar price range and compare the features and eventually make a decision on which TV you, can, you should buy. So you wanna make sure that your content is specific enough and gives some sort of valuable insights for the end user so that you answer those uh, questions that the, the, the user actually has when they start reading your blog posts. But in here itself, you can see that we can create new blog posts and we can also edit the previous ones or we can just go ahead and delete them, uh, which we can actually do because these are just talking about nonsense. So let's just go ahead and remove all of these, move to trash, perfect. Now what we can do is create a new post. So I'm just gonna click on create a new post. Add the title. Let's say we do the best running shoes for 2022, which is maybe not the best title, but it's a good starting point. What you want to do here is also make sure that you do some keyword research. So make sure you understand what type of keywords users are actually searching for. So a great way to do this is using the Google Keyword Planner, which is a free tool to use from Google. So what you want to do is just search on Google for Google Keyword Planner, uh, create an account right there. Once you're logged in, you will see a page that looks similar to this. And in the corner, uh, you can see that we have tools and settings, and then you can go to the Keyword Planner. Then once you're on this page here, you can see discover new keywords. So just click on that one. Now I want to do it in English. I'm just gonna select English right here. Then you can select the country that you want to target. So if you're marketing products for the US, obviously you wanna make sure you add the US here. If you're doing it for another country, Mexico, Canada, whatever else, just make sure you select the right country. So the data and the search key or the search terms they, that eventually show up are actually related to your market because how people search in the US and how people search in Canada might actually be very, very different. So it's very important that you select the right market dependent on who you're targeting. In this case, I'm going for the US, so I'm just gonna select the US and click save. Once that is done, we can just start with some something simple and very broad, so we can do uh, running shoes for 2022. Then we click on the blue button here, which is in Swedish. I apologize for that, but it will say something like search keywords. Once you're on this page, let me translate it back to English once again. Uh, some of these are not translated, but keep that in mind. What we have here in this column is gonna be the search volume. So if we rank it by the highest search volume, we can see that best running shoes 2022 has between 100 and 1000 searches per month which is also up by 900% in the last three months, which makes sense because it just turned 2022. Moving down, we have some related keywords to do to best running shoes 2022, which can give us some ideas on other things that we, that we might want to include 
in our article and also some ideas on future articles or blog posts that we can write on our uh, website. So in here we can see the Nike running shoes 2022. So perhaps there are a bunch of new Nike running shoes for 2022. We might want to create an article talking about these new running shoes and compare them with each other. So someone looking to buy those Nike shoes actually can pick uh, the best option for them essentially. So this could be a great article that we could write. Uh, Brooks Adrenaline 2022, I believe this is a brand, so that's something that maybe we can write a review of this specific running shoe. 2022 running shoes, upcoming Nike running shoes, perfect article to write, still 10 to 100 uh, people that actually search this every month. New running shoes 2022 and so on. So we have a bunch of different uh, options here to go for. Now we can also go a bit more broad uh, by just searching running shoes and get the results. So let's see what we get. So just searching for running shoes, we have a bunch of more options. We can see the running shoes keyword actually has 100,000 to 1 million searches per month. Now this keyword is gonna be super hard to rank for because there's already well established brands that are ranking for this keyword. So ideally you wanna look for keywords that has a bit of a less search volume. Obviously going for the 2022 options are gonna be a bit easier because usually there's not, not there's not a lot of brands targeting those yearly specific keywords, uh, but you can, as you can see in here, we have a bunch of different options uh, that we can actually target. So that will give you an idea of your starting point when you create those articles. So when you have an idea of what type of content you want to create, we can go back over to our VIX article. In here, we just wanna make sure that we add a bunch of different content. We can, we can just start by filling this page with a bunch of useful content will be something similar to this. Uh, perfect, so that's gonna be our introduction. And then we might have the first pair of shoes, which is gonna be uh, shoe number one here. Let's say that's the name of that specific brand. And then we can just make sure it's heading two. This adds into SEO, so keep that in mind. Um, if you want more details about VIX SEO, I also have a bunch of articles on that. So there is a bunch of useful content on the channel that you can actually check out if you want to learn more about SEO. But the most important part you should understand from this is that you wanna make sure that the articles that you create are relevant to the end user and it's actually useful and is actually targeting a keyword which people are actually searching for. What a lot of people, a lot of people tend to make the mistake of targeting a keyword which no one is searching for, like naming their article something that just doesn't make sense, no one is searching for it, and that way no one will actually find your article, unless you're doing other forms of marketing to funnel people towards that article. But if you want to get free traffic, which is the best way for affiliate marketing, then making sure that you have a accurate and a good title that's actually targeting a useful keyword will be the best starting point for you. Now, once you have your article ready to go, obviously you wanna make sure you spend some time on the article itself. Um, you wanna make sure that you add in your affiliate links within the text. So let's say for example, this was about shoe number one here on uh, the list that we created. Click here to buy uh, could be the call to action that you add uh, on the page itself. Then click here to buy. You wanna make sure this is linked to your affiliate link. Now there's a bunch of different affiliate programs that you can pick from. You can go for Amazon if you want to. You can go for Target if you're in the US. Uh, you can go for specific brands dependent on what country you're in. So what I have found is this one, uh, roadrunnersports.com, which have an affiliate program. And what you can do to find these different affiliate programs is just find a brand for the niche that you're writing for. And once you've found a good brand, just look up if they have an affiliate program. If they don't have an affiliate program, perhaps they're selling their products on Amazon. You can sign up for the Amazon affiliate program. And once you're signed up for the Amazon affiliate program, uh, you can just create uh, those affiliate links directly to those specific products. But let's say I wanted to sign up for this Roadrunner Sports affiliate program. Just find this page, click on Join Impact Affiliate Program. Once you're signed up for the affiliate program and once you're approved, you will get a, an affiliate link that is specific to your website when that is specific to your brand. So once users click on your link 
and let's say this was our specific link. What we can do is just add it in here, highlight the text and just make sure we link to that specific URL, which usually looks something like this because it has your affiliate ID connected to it. Once you've added that specific link that is leading to the product page of the product that you're talking about, then you just want to make sure that the link opens in a new tab, which is going to be super important uh, because if it opens in the same window, you'll lose the user from your website. So just make sure it opens in a new tab. Once that is done, just go ahead and click on save. And then you can perhaps change the design of this as well, just to make it a bit more targeted, perhaps work on a call to action. So it's related to your niche as well, but that is going to be the basics of it. Once users start clicking on this link right here, you will start earning your affiliate commission. So if you're happy with your blog posts and everything is looking good, you've changed everything in terms of the content on the specific pages. Then the final thing you want to do is jump over to the SEO settings of this specific page. So I'm just going to click on SEO here on the side, and I'm just going to run you through the basics of SEO. But as I mentioned before, if you want more detailed information about Vix SEO, there's a bunch of useful content on the channel. But the first thing we have is the URL slug, uh, which is going to be the URL for this specific article. Best running shoes for 2022 is actually a perfect URL slug. Uh, what we could actually remove is remove the four here if you wanted to make the if we wanted to make the URL a bit shorter best running shoes 2022 I think that's totally fine the most important part to take into account here is that the URL slug should contain the most important keyword of that specific page and as we mentioned already this article is targeting best running shoes 2022 so it would make sense that URL slug is also best running shoes 2022. As for the title tag, the title tag will be uh, the title uh, that you usually see in uh, the Google search. As you can see here at the top, we have a short preview on how that actually looks like in the Google search. Uh, and as we're targeting the best running shoes for 2022, I think it's ideal that we actually keep this inside of our title tag. So best running shoes 2022. Um, and perhaps if one of your affiliate program offers a discount, we could add also get 5% or get $5 off or whatever it is. So let's $5, $5 off. And then we can just add the name of our brand here as well. I'm just gonna add who is Bobbin. Let's say that's our brand name. And that would be our title tag. Now you can see it's cut off here, but in the Google search, you would see the whole thing. So that's perfect. Jumping down to the meta, uh, meta description, it's not going to be a ranking factor, but you want to make sure that the meta description accurately describes uh, what the blog post or the page is actually about. So just make sure this gives the user a short preview of what they can ex expect from reading or clicking on this specific article. Now, once you're happy with all of the changes you have made, uh, we can just go ahead and click on publish and the blog post itself will be published on our website. And from here, the most important part is that you stay consistent. So keep creating new unique content, make sure you do uh, your keyword research so you can find new and trending ideas on different topics and different things that you can cover and make sure that your affiliate marketing website is covering a specific niche. Because if you start going too broad, perhaps you're creating content for everything. Perhaps you're, you make an affiliate website and you talk about running shoes and you talk about skincare products and you talk about marketing products and you talk about the best bicycles, whatever it is, it's too broad. So make sure if you want to cover different topics, create a new website for that specific topic. So the websites that you create are very niche and very targeted. Otherwise, when users click on your website, they might not even feel that you are the right person to listen to, because if you're covering so many different things, how can you be a professional with everything? So the ideal world, you create different websites for each niche that you want to target. Now, obviously some niches might be a bit more broad. So if you're doing skincare products, there are a bunch of different skincare products you can market. If you're doing running shoes, perhaps uh, bicycles are actually going to be relevant because perhaps you're just doing the whole sports niche. That might still also be too broad. So I would recommend you to actually go a bit more niche 
trying to stay within your lane and just making sure that you have the best possible content that is optimized, that is relevant, and that users actually want to read. Now, I've touched on this a couple of times throughout this video, but the main point of affiliate marketing is just making sure that all of the content that you have on your website is as relevant as possible. So you always wanna make sure that everything is relevant to whatever you're talking about. So if we jump back to our website here, I have no idea what type of website you are creating and what type of products you want to market. But all I'm trying to say is, if you're marketing a specific product or like very specific products, you don't want to go too broad and just start marketing products that are not relevant to your website, not relevant to your other articles, because you want to create a whole platform. You want to see your website as a platform where you have all the possible different articles within your niche and you cover everything about it. And when you think about running shoes, for example, best running shoes for 2022, that's just one example of an article you can create for an, a running shoe website. You can do reviews on specific running shoes and you can um, do predictions on upcoming releases and whatever else. There's so many different possibilities on where you can create and take your affiliate marketing website. And if you've, you've probably seen these examples as well, but there are even some affiliate marketing websites where their only focus is on one specific product. So they have a whole website built out, but they're only marketing one single product. So if you want to do it that way, you can do that as well. So it's really up to what you want to market, what you have some sort of experience in, because you have to have some sort of experience in order to write about it, unless you're gonna outsource your writing to someone else. But at this point, I've been doing a lot of talking, uh, so let's just get back to the affiliate marketing website itself. The main importance here is that, once again, your content and making sure that your website is related or relevant to your niche. If I was doing a skincare product, I probably wouldn't have a dark website, all black. I'll probably make it bright, more white, and more directed towards women. If it was a website uh, directed towards women, if it was skincare price for men, obviously this theme right here might actually be a good fit. But with that being said, we still have a couple of things left to customize on the website. We have the footer here at the bottom. We have the top as well. So we have the header menu. We also have the logo here at the top and some menu items and some other pages. As I mentioned before, we're not gonna go into 100% detail on everything that you can customize, but all you really have to know at this point is that all of the pages can be customized. So your homepage can be customized and you should customize your homepage so it's relevant. And once again, you should do it for the other pages as well, such as the about this page. You just add a little introduction about yourself. You might even want to add yourself in here. And going back to the basics in terms of Wix, if let's say, for example, you don't want to ha have this section here talking about our team, what you can do is just click on that specific section, click on delete, and that's it. So the section is all gone. You don't have to care about it. You can still see that we have a strip down here with an image. If you don't want that one, you can delete that as well. You can delete this text. And then we have some more people here, so we can just go ahead and delete those as well. So as you can see, we have all this blank space now in the middle, but it's not an issue. Go back down to the footer. Uh, you'll see this uh, little button here say, uh, that says adjust page height. Just grab this, just drag it all the way back to the top. And then let's drag it slowly, slowly, slowly. We'll go all the way back up. Let's see here. All the way back up and there you go. So we don't have any empty space anymore. Uh, we might actually want to move this up so I can just grab these elements. And well, let's see, so we grab everything here. So we want to grab that one, that one, that one, and we can just drag it up, no problem. Just wanna make sure it's aligned. I think that's perfectly fine. And there we go. We just changed the layout of this specific page. Once you're happy with the changes, you can just go ahead and press publish and all of the changes are done. And as it says right here, we also have the mobile version of the website. And if you want to change the mobile version, Luckily for you, the blog posts are you just gonna follow the same format, so you don't really have to worry about the blog posts. But the other pages, make sure you head over to the mobile version just to make sure that the mobile version also looks fine. And actually, I do think uh, that the mobile version does look fine, so I'm happy with this. So we can go back to the desktop version. 
Cool, that's pretty much it, what I'm gonna cover in terms of the design aspects of Wix, as I've mentioned 100 times at this point. There's a bunch of videos on my channel, uh, which will help you out with everything you need in terms of Wix design. There's also other people covering this as well. So if you want to know that in more detail, make sure you head over to watch those. For the rest of Wix, it's important that we get a domain name, uh, our current website, if we publish it once again, and just head over to our website, uh, as you can see, the domain name at the moment, we have wixsite.com slash mysite1. Obviously, we want to have our own domain name here. So if our business name or our blog name was Apex Sports Psychology, then obviously our domain name should probably be apexsportspsychology.com. Um, so that is important that we get a domain name. Luckily, once you upgrade your Wix subscription, you get a free domain name as well if you get the yearly subscription. So if you go to upgrade right here, you can also compare the plans and I'll just give you a breakthrough of the different plans you have on Wix. So website plans, connect domain name is gonna be four uh, euros and 50 cents per month. The one I would recommend you to get is the combo one, uh, which will also get you the uh, domain name as well once you get the yearly package. So if you want to get the free domain name, make sure you get the combo version. It's not that much when you think about it, relatively speaking, you're basically running your own business for eight, uh, eight euros a month, which is pretty much nothing. And in terms of what Wix is offering as well. But yeah, if I was you just starting out, I would definitely go with the combo package. Prices might vary depending on your, what country you're in, uh, but it should be fairly similar to this. So I just wanted to give you some quick examples of affiliate websites. So what I've Googled is just best stock platform. And now, as you will see, all of these are gonna be affiliate websites. We have stockbrokers.com. Let's have a look. So five best trading platforms, 2022. This is very similar to what I was talking about, about running shoes. So let's over, head over and let's see what this website is doing. Obviously, this is gonna be a massive website. They're well established. And it wouldn't even surprise me if they're not making above 10 million a year, uh, probably more than that even. Uh, so take that into account. So what they're doing here is pretty much what I covered. They're writing an article, rating these different uh, platforms. So stock trading platforms, Fidelity, E-Trade, and so on. They just give them a rating. You have the reviews here as well, pros and cons. Less of an article format, as you can see, but it is still fairly similar to an article. So how you do your affiliate marketing will also depend. You can either do a one page, you can do articles, you can do it in so many different ways. So also keep that in mind as well. But as you can see here, you have sort of a layout that you can follow. So what I would recommend you to do is make sure you search things that are re related to whatever affiliate marketing website you want to start. So for example, best running shoes is what I wanted to do. So if I search for best running shoes, we can see the runnersworld.com. So let's see if they're actually selling shoes or if there's just an affiliate website. And it looks like they are just an affiliate website. Yeah, they're not an e-commerce website. So this is just a great example of a website that just does uh, affiliate marketing. And you can even see here at the top, we are a commission for products purchased through some links in this article. And once again, they do exactly the same thing. They show the different shoes right away, and then they do an in-depth review and details about each individual shoe, giving some details, and then just having the buy now links here as well. Let's see where these will take us. This link takes us to this brand in the UK. So if I were to make a purchase right now, they will get an affiliate commission for that purchase. Now that is gonna be pretty much it for today's tutorial. If you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial, if you want a second part of uh, this tutorial, make sure to let me know in the comments as well. Uh, but just go out there, make sure you are consistent, try different niches, and eventually you should see some results with your affiliate website. And that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. And if you have any questions, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, make sure to leave them in the comments as I really try to answer as many comments as I can. With all that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.